Lake has been almost totally dry now for as long as anyone can remember, but back in 1852 it was quite full. In fact, over the years, several people even drowned in the lake, believe it or not. Copper, check this out. Any luck? Yes. What do you think? Stop <laughs> fucking around. So your mum? Hey, no. Fucking don't go there, man. Just keep tracking. Right, eh? No worries, it ain't gonna bite you. So tell us about your dad. My dad, he looked at the stars. He still looks at the stars. The stars look down on him. Is he still around? I don't know. I don't know much about him. Do you reckon he'd know where she is? I don't know. Just, just don't know, man. People died out here? Well, I dumped two bodies here once. Yeah. What do you think I got locked up for? Aw oh, man, I don't need to know that shit. I've got enough on my plate at the moment. Why would she be out here? Why would anyone come out here? She used to come out, out here to look for shit. I think you're fucking crazy. She was always looking down. Looking for stuff. And he was looking at the stars, but no one was looking at me.
I think I know where she is. Just go, dude. You're not a tracker, are you? What a lovely surprise. It's all right. Mama's here now. Right. Let me look at you. Let me look at you. Take those silly glasses off. Where have you been, Ma? Right here. I come here every afternoon to watch the sunset. Where were you? I keep busy. My wonderful girls, they bring me things. Bits and pieces, road signs that I glue together. I'm still looking, but the pieces are coming together. Why weren't you there to take care of me? What? You know, after school. Cooking dinner, doing my homework, helping me with my homework and stuff like that. All the family kind of stuff. Oh, that old stuff. Look, your father and I, he had his work, and I chose to be happy making my things. By peering over fences? Peering over fences, climbing over walls, making my art, staying sane. The fridge was always full. You cook for yourself. I had to. It was okay. I had to, Ma. But you were good at it, darling. Yet here you are. I know, I had trouble that night. I had a bag of wooden crate panels, old and weathered, marked by sun and wind. I'd gathered them all over Lake George. And then the road. The stars were bright, the stars were dancing, looking right into me. And then a light, a siren, horns blaring, a monster bearing down on me. I know, Ma, I heard all about it on the two-way radio. But I froze. It's like I was frozen in a chair and I couldn't do anything. I just couldn't move. So is, it, is this where they took you? Yes, and is it so bad? Look around you. It's lovely. It's quiet. And my wonderful girls, they bring me things. I just wanted us to be normal. You, Dad and me. Normal is overrated, darling. I always did the right thing, Ma. I know you did. I went, always went by the book. Always dressed right. Everything was always in order. I know you did, darling. I'm very proud of you. I know you always did the right thing. I know you'll do the right thing now.
feet Rosalie Finds form in everything Seeking strands of memory In the fragment of a sign Like beads drawn on a rosary She walks outside of Easy loop, an easy loop. Double Dutch. <laughs> 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 All right. Like that takes it out of it. I don't know. Oh, I know why boxes do it. Yeah. Oh, buddy, gets it. Yeah, you did about so six. Oh. <laughs> you look so windswept. <laughs> Cowboyish.